there are two intake manifolds, red arrows, on the 991.1. Porsche refers to them as intake air distributors. If you are going to be removing them to access other components, you must replace the gaskets. It is also a good idea to order gaskets for everything else you are removing before you start. The intake manifolds are connected to the throttle body and the residence tube. Blue arrow. You will need to remove the engine cooling fans, rear wing, taillights, rear bumper cover, throttle body, and residence tube, and perform a partial engine drop. Please follow the link provided at the end of this video for assistance with all of those tasks. The resonance tube connects to both intake manifolds via a large rubber band slash gasket and a metal band, red arrow. Plan on replacing the gaskets while doing this work. If you have an S option motor, there will be a valve on the rear of the resonance tube, so use care when removing it. There are two brackets on both intake manifolds, one on the front and one on the rear. You can remove the intakes without removing the brackets if you disconnect everything from them. If you want to remove them from the intakes, use an E10 and remove the four screws, red arrow to shown. You can use a trim removal tool and separate the clips from the mount on the right side, red arrow. You will need to remove the purge valve from the 1 to 3 intake bracket as it will not clear the chassis with it attached. Again, please follow the link provided at the end of this video for additional assistance with that task. Here is the purge valve out from the engine bay. Use an E10 torque and remove the six bolts holding the manifold in place. Remove them front to back and you will install them back to front. Wiggle and pull the manifold off of the head and remove it from the engine compartment. If you have removed the bracket from the number four intake, red arrow, it will stay in the engine compartment. Otherwise, remove it with the intake, blue arrows. Always replace the gaskets whenever you remove the intakes, red arrows. On the left side, with the purge valve removed, you will need to disconnect the engine ambient temperature sensor indicated by the red arrow by separating the wiring connection. The sensor itself can remain in the bracket on the intake runner. You can now remove the 1 to 3 intake runner in the same manner as the right side. Installation is the reverse of removal. Tighten the intake manifold from the front to rear as illustrated in this image. Torque the screws to 13 newton meters or 9.5 foot pounds. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.